Hello, YouTube. Uh, I thought I would do an update on uh, the profitability or lack thereof of my two mining uh, mining rigs. Uh, about uh, 20 days ago, on uh, March 8th, I posted a couple of uh, videos that showed that uh, Wind Miner is no longer profitable profitable for either my GTX 960 or my GTX 1070. Uh, so that's still the case, as you can see down here. So I just got my uh, uh, end of the month electric bill. So I recalculated my electric cost. You can see here it went down a little bit. This is the current cost, 13.2 uh, cents per kilowatt, uh, down from 13.6 cents from last month. The uh, loads on the two machines, uh, if you remember from my other videos, I have a gaming PC that I run my GTX 960 on, and I have a dedicated PC where I run the GTX 1070. So the watts uh, usage from those two rigs have, hasn't changed. Uh, and uh, so based on the new electric costs, I recalculated the cost per day for each rig. I went and did... Uh, a check to see what each rig is making on Windbiner. There's still, actually, it's worse than what it used to be uh, uh, for both uh, the 960 and the, and the 1070. And then I also went and checked on uh, NiceHash. So it turns out that uh, NiceHash had been unprofitable for the 960 when I did the last this in early March. And what with uh, mining difficulty uh, going up, mining profits going down, and Bitcoin process prices down even more, down a lot from earlier in the month. Uh, now the GTX 1070 is no longer profitable on, uh, on NiceHash. And of course, it continues to be even less pro uh, more unprofitable on the WinMiner. So this is uh, late uh, March, March 29th to be precise, and not good. So the difference for an ice hash isn't too bad, eight cents uh, uh, profit or loss per day, eight cents. I can live with that in order to accumulate my uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, in particular my, my Bitcoin. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't be running my wind miner uh, as a dedicated uh, mining machine anymore for either of those two car, GPU cards. I still use it during the day because it uh, doesn't seem to make the screen refresh lag quite as much as NiceHash. So uh, when I run NiceHash, uh, not all the time, but frequently if I'm trying to get some other work done, it just is impossible because the cursor lags terribly. So I turn off NiceHash and turn uh, WinMiner back on even though it's losing money just because I got the PC on and I might as well make a little bit on the side while I'm doing some other things. All right, so there we have it. I'm not uh, thinking this is going to improve much. Uh, the uh, currencies have been continued to go down, although they had a brief pop for a couple of weeks there in the middle of the month. Now it's going to be back down. And the mining difficulty, uh, or at least the profitability, continues to go down from negative to more negative. So I hope this is uh, helpful. Um, since I'm done with this, I'm going to post another video where I show you what I did to try to make up for this, uh, this uh, situation. There you go.